Hi everyone. I want to show you how you can speed up your PC. We're going to start with things that you can do right now to improve your computer's performance. And at the very end I also want to walk through a few things to be aware of so when you're in the market for your next PC it'll be as fast as possible. Let's start speeding things up. Tip number one. You want to make sure that your Windows is up to date. Microsoft is constantly working on performance enhancements. And there are always new drivers coming out. And these can impact your performance. To check for updates let's go down to the taskbar. And within the search box type update at the very top let's click on the best match option. For check for updates this opens up Windows Update. And at the very top you can see whether you are currently up to date. Down below you can also click on check for updates to see if there are any additional updates to install. If you see any updates or new drivers to install on your PC. I'd recommend going ahead and installing those. Tip number 2. You can disable startup apps. You probably remember when you first bought your PC. It booted up a lot quicker. Than it does today as you install more and more apps on your computer. Unfortunately it gets slower and slower. Much of this is due to apps that start up when you boot your computer. To see what all of these apps are. Let's go down to the taskbar. And within the search field let's type in startup apps. Next let's click on the best match option. This opens up a screen where we can see all of the different apps. That start with our computer. On the left hand side you can see the name of the app. You can also see whether it's currently turned on or off. And over on the right hand side. You can also see the impact. That it has on the startup time. Keep in mind. That some of them are good to have start up with your computer. However there might be some. That maybe you don't really use. And it has a big impact on the start up time. I can click on the toggle to turn this off. As I scroll down the list here too. I see that I have the Opera browser. Assistant I don't really use that. And it's currently turned on. It's a good thing that I'm turning it off. Tip number 3. Uninstall apps that you're no longer using. Or maybe even apps that you never even used at all. When you leave these apps on your computer they're taking up space. And they could even be running in the background. To remove apps once again just like we've been doing this entire video. Let's go down to the taskbar. And within the search field type in apps and features. And if we look down just a little bit on the list. You'll see all of the different apps or softwares that you have installed on your computer. So here if you want to free up some hard drive space, you can find the apps that you want remove or uninstall. To remove the app you simply click on it. And then you could go to uninstall. Tip number 4. You can free up storage space. Very easily with Windows 10. If you're consuming a lot of your hard drive space. That can also start to slow down your computer. Just like we've been doing all along. Let's go down to the taskbar. And here let's type in storage settings. And next let's click on the best match. This opens up storage settings. And first I want to show you how you can manually review. How much hard drive space you're using. And how you can manually clear some of that upright. Here you can see your hard drive. And it'll show you how much you're currently consuming now. Right now I still have quite a bit of space but especially if you're consuming a very high percentage. You'll likely see some performance degradation. If you're wondering where is all that space actually going down below. You can see a breakdown of what's contributing to that usage. Here in my case I can see that apps and features. From here remove unnecessary software or apps. Type the name of app in the search box. Click on app. And click on uninstall for free up space. Tip number 5. You can use a task manager on both your PC and in your browser. To see what's consuming your system resources to access it on the PC. Let's go down to the taskbar. Right click and then go up to the option. 
that says task manager. This opens up the simplified task manager. And here I can see all of the apps that I currently have open now. Let's say there is an app that I'm no longer using and I want to close it. I can simply select that app right click and then I can end the task. If I want to see additional details like how many system resources any one of these apps is using. Let's go down to the bottom left hand corner. And click on more details. This opens up the detailed view of the task manager. Wow there's quite a bit more detail here compared to the previous screen. Over here we can see all the apps that are currently open. And we can see all of our different background processes that are running here. If I take an item you can see how much CPU it's using. How much memory it's using. And you can see across all these other metrics. Now especially if you're trying to track down why your computer is running slower. Now you can right click on it. And then you could click on end task. Now click on app history. There is a list of app history. On the top click on delete usage history. Tip number 6. You can disable background apps. If you remember earlier when we looked at the task manager. There were a ton of different background processes. Some of them are related to background apps. Once again let's go down to the task bar. And within the search field type in background apps. And let's click on the best match. This opens up all of the different background apps on your computer. And right now I see a ton of different apps and they're currently all turned on. Now there is some benefit to allowing them to run in the background. For example they'll be updated they'll get the most recent information. So when you launch the app it'll be up to date. But maybe on this list there's an app that you really just don't use and you don't want it consuming those system resources. Here you can click on the toggle to turn it off. Tip number 7. When you delete any file. It goes to the recycle bin. And due to full of recycle bin. Our computer slow down. So we need to empty the recycle bin. Right click on recycle bin. Click on empty recycle bin. And click yes. Tip number 8. You can clean up your disks. It will delete unnecessary files. Now go to this PC. Select a drive where your window is installed. My window installed in C drive. Right click on it. And click on properties. Now in this dialog box. Click on disk cleanup. Check on files that you want to delete. And click OK. And click on delete files. Tip number 9. If your PC is still going extremely slow, and you really just feel like giving up. Don't worry. You can also go back to the original state when you first got your PC. Down below in the search field type in reset this PC. And click on the best match. This opens up the recovery view. And right up here you can reset your PC. When you click. On get started you can decide to keep your files on your computer. Or you could simply remove everything and start from scratch. We've gone through many tips for how to improve your computer's performance. If performance is still poor and you want to make sure that your next PC is as fast as possible. There are two things I highly recommend getting. First I recommend getting an SSD. This is a solid state drive. Your PC will be able to access data much faster than with a traditional spinning hard disk drive. Second I recommend getting RAID 0. RAID 0 saves files on two separate hard drives. So instead of waiting on one hard drive to read a file, two hard drives can do it faster together. There are some redundancy concerns. But if you have a backup and you want the most speed possible, this is a great choice. If you now see better performance from your computer, Please give this video a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also if you want to see me cover any other topics on this channel. Leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed and as always. I hope to see you next time. Thank you.